Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Katana launcher script that you can then use to load various plugins including your renderers and USD. I'm working on Windows in this tutorial but the process will be the same for Linux. There'll just be a difference in how the batch file is written. So let's jump right in. Open up Notepad or another text editor that you have and just save the document first of all as a .bat file, call it something relevant and then I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now inside this batch file we can specify environment variables to set before launching Katana. So first we're going to set the Katana environment variables which are Katana root which points to your Katana installation directory. And we're using the set command to do this, which is a Windows command for setting environment variables. And then we're gonna set path, which is a Windows system variable that specifies an executable location. So this can point to Katana root slash bin, which is where the Katana executable is found. And then finally, Katana Resources, which provides a list of parts of where to look for plugins and other customizations. And now we can add a command to run the Katana executable and launch Katana. So this is the basis of a launcher script for Katana. We can run this and Katana will then be started. And 3Delight will also be loaded as the 3Delight installer sets the necessary environment variables globally. So we don't need to set them in the launcher script. You'll be able to see these if you go into your environment variables window. There'll be three new environment variables set there. If you did want to set them in the script as well, you just need to set delight to the 3delight directory. Path to the executable location as we did for Katana. And Katana resources to 3delight for Katana inside the delight path and you'll notice that for path and katana resources i first referenced the environment variable and then used the semicolon before the paths and this is because path and katana resources have already been set up here in the script so i want to add this new 3 delight path to the previously set paths instead of overriding them so from here, we can add other environment variables required to load various plugins, such as your render plugins and USD plugins. And you can also add comments to your script using rem to keep it organized, which will be really useful when you start adding more and more environment variables for your various plugins. As well as this, you can add the command echo off at the top of the script and that will stop all the commands from being displayed in the command prompt when you run this script. And this also helps to keep it tidy and make it a lot easier to spot any errors that you might have in the future. So there we go, we've set up our Katana launcher script using a batch file. There's a lot of information online about setting environment variables using Windows. And if you do want more information about creating launcher scripts for Katana, you can refer to the support portal where you'll find information for both Windows and for Linux.